my book just came. It's not live animals, it's bugs. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining my channel. So we just got this um, live animals. It says live animals, but it's not live animals. It's actually predatory bugs. Pirate beetles. And if you've ever used pirate beetles before, you can let me know how they did for you. We normally use, they're just like little packet sachets that you hang on your plants and they eat the thrips. They eat spider mites as well if there's no thrips present. And uh, yeah, they've done really well, but we've had them going for quite a long time now. So I don't think there's anything even left in these sachets anymore. So I'm just gonna toss these in the trash and let's see what we got here. So this is what the little bottle looks like. And they say just to sprinkle it around on your plants. I'm just trying to look inside to see if I can see anything crawling. I can't see anything crawling. Oh, yep, I see one. There's one up there. And they come really hungry, so um, yeah. So I'm just gonna sprinkle these around on the plants and we'll see what happens. I can see that the top is open there, so I guess the bugs can breathe. And right now in Canada, where I live in Ontario, it's quite cold outside. It was one day shipping, so we ordered this. They ship out on Mondays and when Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I believe. We ordered these uh, during the weekend, so it didn't get shipped until yesterday, and we got them today. Okay, so I brought down a few more plants, and now I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle this inside of all the plants. I don't really know how much you're supposed to sprinkle in each plant, but because I have two tents, um, I'm going to try to make sure that it... Ooh, I can see them crawling! Free them. They look hungry. They look like they're ready to get started. This is the Mikan's basket that's hanging right here. This is the one that has the thrip, so I'm going to pour those in there now. And these don't fly, but they do kind of fly hop from each plant, so um, they should get around in here. And that's how much is left. So I'll take, let me just put the lid back on this for a minute. Sorry about that. I'm gonna take my phone off the tripod and I'm gonna kind of show um, what I just did. Let me just turn the phone around. So these are my Cebu Blue propagations and I just basically took the lid off and went squirt, 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 not really squirt because it's not a liquid, but you know what I mean? I shook it around in all the plants here, all the plants up here, the Mikan's basket that I found the thrips on. This is the new Hoya that I bought. So just to make sure that it doesn't have anything, I put some on there. Uh, and then this is the stuff that's kind of inside. I don't know what it is. Like, it looks like seed shells. Oh, look, there's a bug. See him? He's looking for food. I also sprinkled it on all of these. I sprinkled some inside of my little propagation containers and then I have some caladium bulbs that are in there. I sprinkled some in the soil. All of these plants also have some. And then over here on this side, there's that. Uh, did I get this one? I can't remember if I got this one. so. Let me just do that now. 
and I'll kind of show you what I did here. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so. So there we go. And now I'm gonna move on to the other tent. So now we're in tent number two. I don't know if you can hear me, the fans are on and it's just, it's quite loud in here. Let me fix that. So now I'm just good, and I put my hair up because I, I felt like there's bugs gonna crawl in it. I'm just gonna give this a little shake just so that the bugs are kind of dispersed in there. And I still have lots left. So I'm gonna go around and put some in all the plants that are inside of this tent now. See a little bug in there. Now this is where I keep my Prince of Orange that has a real spider living inside of it. I'm gonna take that Prince of Orange out and wash it and get that real spider off of it because I have a feeling that he's gonna try to catch the flies or catch these guys and eat them. And so to take him out he's been protecting my plants the spider well he's been protecting this plant i don't really know where he is in there but there's a huge spider web inside of this plant i don't know if you can see the spider webs oh yeah you can see them so that's not from actual spider mites that's from a real spider living in there how much I have left so I'm and you know what honestly I probably didn't need to put as much as I put in these two tents but these tents were the main reason why I purchased um these so I tried to use as much as I could down here uh, my main plant rooms and stuff like that they don't have bugs that I can see I check all the time so they don't really need this stuff but because I have a little bit left over, I will put some upstairs. And like I said, they jump from plant to plant from what I've heard. So I don't think uh, you need a lot. I think that this should be enough for what I have upstairs, uh, especially if they jump from plant to plant. So now I'm just gonna take my phone off the tripod and show you around this tent and show you what I did here. So as you can see, I sprinkled it on top of the leaves. Some of it fell into the soil. This Mikan's plant is okay. I didn't see any thrips on this plant at all, but it's always nice to use something as precaution. Um, I did see some spider mites inside of these. So I don't know if we can capture a bug while working because that would be pretty cool oh look there's a little buggy bug looking for some food to eat i'm sure he's hungry he looks hungry he looks like he's hunting oh my god he's actually so cute go find your food go find it where's your food at Where's your food at? Where's your food at? Where's your food at? I can see some more webbing uh, in this plant over here. Which makes me believe that it's either spider mites or... Oh no, it's a real spider. I can see them. It's a real spider living in there. See him? I hope he doesn't eat my predatory mites. But he probably will.
if you're afraid of spiders like me, I'm very sorry for that. Because <laughs> I know if it was up to me, I would be changing the channel and not watching that. Because I hate spiders. Okay. Now I'm going to go upstairs to where all my plants are. And we're going to sprinkle some of that good stuff. That's my craft area. Sorry, it's like so dirty. Well, it's not dirty, it's just messy. Okay, so now we're upstairs in the plant room. I've got these two cabinets, three cabinets. I'm not gonna add any to the cabinets because I know that there's no bugs in there. I check these plants almost daily. Um, I feel like there's no plant, no bugs in here at all, but because we have some left, I'm gonna use it up. And we're gonna start over here on this table. I don't really know what else to put it in, so now I'm going to go into the other room and I'm going to put some on my Monstera plant, my biggest Monstera plant. He's still in soil. Um, the majority of these ones are in Leca, so I didn't want to waste it all. I'll show you how much is left. So there's just a little bit left in there, so I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll put some of this in the Monstera and then some of it also, I have a Jade Pothos that's still in soil. I'd like to kind of save these for the soil plants because I feel like the Leca plants don't really get pests as often as the soil plants do. Um, yeah, okay, so let's go do that. There's literally like one sprinkle left. I did want to put some on this guy because I saw some spider webs on him last night. So I don't know if there's a spider living in the room or what. That's it. So I'm going to take this now and put the rest of it into my jade plant. I'll bring the phone with me. So I'm going to put the last little bit that I have in here in my jade plant, which is hanging up here. I got to do this with one hand. Just bear with me. And I'm just going to put the lid in there. Because the lid has like a few of them living in the lid. I'm just, I'm looking inside and I'm scared that one's going to jump out at me. I think I should just leave this bottle in there. I'll leave the bottle in there. I left it in there, like upside down. All right. So that should be it. And I will let everybody know how that goes. Um, all these plants. Got some today, except for the ones up there. If I notice that there is a pest problem though, I will definitely order more. I would like to see how those ones kind of work their magic, especially on the Mikan's plant that has the thrips. I put the thrip plant in with all the other plants, which normally people would not do, but I did it because I wanted to give the bugs something to eat. Um, and if the thrips spread to the other plants, then at least they'll be able to jump around and get all of the thrips. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, let me know if I should make an update on this. An update to see if they actually did their job. Uh, and if I can catch them eating any of the bugs, I will definitely take a video and I'll post it on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me at Planty Shopping. Um, and yeah, we'll see how this does. I'm excited. I'm excited for live bugs in my house. I shouldn't be, but I am. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day. Bye.